These are some of your dumb origin ideas. You guys have been giving out a lot of interesting origins as of late. A lot of funny ideas that I find in the comments. Some of them are actually decent. So don't get me wrong. Not all the ideas that you give in the comments down below are actually dumb. These are just some of the dumb ones that are purposely made to be dumb. Okay? Also, if you're wondering where the skin comes from, it comes from my Origins Nuzlocke series, which just started. The first episode kind of sucks because of audio quality and yada yada yada. Next episode should be good though. Now the first origin is a very simple one. We just go on here, click to be human. Oh. We also have to choose your unwieldy. Unwieldy, your hands are fo formed to provide no way of holding a shield upright. You just can't hold a shield. Why is this a thing? I don't know. Why do we like shields so much? I don't use shields. Again, don't take any offense to this video. It's a joke video, okay, come on. <laughs> but yeah, this origin does is simply what it is. It's an additional thing to your normal origin as well as your origin class. You just have an additional thing that, oh, you see the shield here? Can't use it. You can hear me clicking. You can hear me clicking that right click button. None's happening. There's your left click. There's your right click. None happening. Can't use the shield. Shield is now absolutely useless. Basically, it's a good way if you want a multiplayer world where you just flat out can't use shields to make it so that those origins that can't use shields by default are now no longer disadvantaged by that fact because no one can use shields. Oh, and this one was created by an Aussie Friday. Same with the next one. The Aussie born origin. You're an Australian from the upside down land, aka Australia. Gravity. Due to being upside down, you fall or fly upside down per person down. Also, water and creative flight controls are inverted. You also freeze from from the Y level 256 plus. So let's select it. Oh my god. We're now upside down. And off into the sky we go. Yeah. Again, this is a filter flipping you upside down. So uh, this is going to be an interesting thing. But yeah, now we're back up here. We froze to death. And oh, um, that's unfortunate. Yeah, it, this, this is all the origin does. It actually does more things. Everything is upside down as a filter is. You don't take any form of full damage because your kang your legs are like kangaroos, but you have to press sprint, the sprint button to sprint. And you go up, but down in water, and down, but up in water. It's, I don't know, it's weird. This is really just, uh, I don't know what to, oh for God's sakes, here we go again. Effectively, uh, this origin is, I'm most useless. <laughs> it's just a stupid joke, but I, I think it'd be a funny thing just to have in a multiplayer world, just so if anyone decides to use it, they get this weird surprise of, oh, wait, we can't actually use it. We're just indefinitely falling to our own death here. We have an adventurer, a nondescript adventurer without any particularly interesting features. Spirits of adventurer. Like any real adventurer, you despise breaking blocks. Mining is not an adventure. This is the idea that I was talking about in the, in the thumbnail. As you can see, you can't break blocks. Whoa, no rock breaking for you. Can't break wood, can't break dirt, can't break stone, can't break anything. Breaking blocks is illegal now. And unlike in adventure mode for Minecraft, even when you have the appropriate tools, you still can't break any blocks. You can make paths though, so... I mean, why not? As I said, even with the right tools, you still can't break any form of blocks. What? Stone? Pickaxe? Nah, that don't work around here. Mining? What is mining? You're not allowed to do that. You're here to adventure. You're here to explore the world. You see this cow over here? You can still kill cow, because of course you can. Cow's not mining. You kill cow for fun. <laughs> but yeah, this origin is just to be an adventure. And also, who made this origin? The creator of the origin mod, A Space. Num nuts. Sorry, that was... Uh, I'm in too much of a joke tone for this video, okay? Shush. Hey, we got to sell some food. We can actually eat food. We can praise blocks, by the way, but you just can't break them. Pretty useless, right? Next, we have Fallen Tree. You're a tree, but sideways and probably dead and without the ability to jump and maybe some mushrooms on your skin. This is created by Sinfophia. Sinfophia. I totally butchered that. I am so sorry for that. Oh, we can't move. Well, you can't move normally, but you can jump, you can jump around like a tree. You can jump, jump, and jump. Hold on. Loop. Even with a Quake Pro FOV, you can't really do much. It's because you got like max quintuple slowness or whatever the hell you want to call it. Which means that the only way you can move is by jumping. And we all know how much uh, saturation and hunger jumping burns through. But if you're not jumping, you still can't move whatsoever. Fell. You're in the ground now. You fell. You can roll and hit almost anything in your path. Now this is a funny thing. Once you can jump to move around, you can also press G. I'm not holding the WASD button. Literally stop pressing it. We even go to camera mode here. As even go to, whoa. 
even go on the camera mode here. We press G. As you can see, hands up here. Both hands. It stopped moving me. Press G. Both hands are up here. It just starts moving you until you hit something. Once you hit something, that's when you do some damage to some people's. I don't know. Just hit it. Look, look at this go. Look at this go. We got infinite moving. Oh no, we hit a wall. Now we take some damage here. Good thing is that you can still jump sprint, so you can theoretically still move around. But, I mean, this will consume your hunger like crazy. But as I said, you got the ability to just roll around. Here we go. Here's a donkey. We killed the donkey. Wow, you're cruel. But hold on, we're not done with the dumb origins. We've got one more dumb origin called the annoying goat or the hornus, depending on what you want to call it. It's called the hornus here, but the data pack's called annoying joke. This is created by the user known as Daz, which was a submission to the wild jam joke section. Incredibly loud and annoying kid of the goats, specifically the screaming one. Mad skills. You can make the sound of a random goat haul with whatever you're holding, even if it's just your hand. This has no cooldown. Use G. Goat horn, let's go. You can just make each and every one. That's hilarious. With the fun of this, you can spam it. <laughs> <laughs> Bonus round time! We got this other origin called Late. You were so late that the creator forgot to write a fitting description, however, he could produce this video to explain. Yep, that was a great video, thank you very much. Unfashionably late, perhaps your extremely slow pace could account for your tendency to be late. Well, that seems to be the only interesting part about this Mimi origin. Uh, what, you, you wanna know something? You see this? You see your hunger bar there? You can't sprint. Oh my goodness, that's a mining, that's actually a really interesting hole. What in the world happened here? But yeah, you can't sprint anymore. This origin removes your ability to sprint. Yes, because this origin's late. And you know what makes that even funnier? Because of that, the ending of this video is unfashionably late. I landed in the water. <laughs> I did not expect to do that. I was... But hey, we're not done. Here, press Y. You can now just make normal goat sounds. Making... For the incredible... Noise machine. <laughs> if you enjoyed this video, make sure you hit the subscribe button down below and make sure to click this video on the screen for more Minecraft origin shenanigans. Until next time, guys, though, bye bye.